We start this one with Pete Alonso's at bat. Notice that pitcher Machado is throwing in on Alonso because that's how they got him out the first time. Native would have preferred. In tight to Alonso, one and two. Inside and Alonso is drilled. He appears okay. Takes a little stare out of Machado. And Machado spreading his arms as if to say, I didn't mean that. And now Alonso looking back at him and making a little motion. I think Alonso was saying, What are you looking at? I think that was the gist of that conversation. Machado said, Not much, I guess. Both managers stepped out of their dugout, and Rojas is going to go over to make sure that Alonso is okay. Most of the players stayed put. Just a little jawing back and forth. Alonso not enjoying getting hit. And Machado. Well, and he had some words. Well, that's the issue I always hear from folks say, well, why do they get angry? You know, he didn't mean to hit you. You ever been hit with a baseball? You get angry straight away. Well, it looks like you got him on the right thumb, which is not a good place to get hit. I mean, he never is able to close up. I mean, he was completely open to that ball as he's starting to take his swing and never. That ball deflected and hit him in the right collarbone. Could have hit him in the face on the deflection. Yeah, I think it's the thumb they're more concerned about, though. One thing in these game management, quote unquote, fight situations, not a fight, obviously, is the player's already hurt. There's injury. And then they, the pitcher asks, did they swing? That's insult to injury. And then one thing leads to another. And how hot is it in New York? Even though it's cable. <laughs> right? Anyway, next half inning, the point of that was to establish the emotional intensity of this game. Marcus Stroman picks off the outside corner, and that's to the dissatisfaction of Yadiel Hernandez, who was called out on strikes his first time up. He's given up only one hit today. That was a Carter Keyboom single in the second. Whoa, Alan Porter is yelling at the bench uh, of the Alan Nationals. Porter just threw somebody out of the game. I'm not sure if it was Davey Martinez or somebody else, but Porter just threw somebody out. I don't know how they could be yelling at Porter. I mean, what has he been done in this game? Well, Porter is the crew chief. Uh, Kevin Cap Long apparently is the guy who got tagged. And Kay Long's going to exit after getting his two cents in. <laughs> Porter's the crew chief, probably just protecting his, uh, home, his plate home plate umpire. umpire. So feisty Kay Long. And uh, goes away muttering. And Allen's going to wait until Kevin vacates the premises. Former Mets hitting coach now filling the same function for the Nats who have been a little dissatisfied with some of the ball strike calls today. Might also be dissatisfied with the score right now. Kevin will be watching from the clubhouse for the rest of this game. Now to me the awkward part about that is yeah. you get ejected from the first game of a doubleheader but you're allowed to come back for the second. <laughs> That's right. Right? That's right. I always thought that was really odd. It is. You're supposed to turn the page and move on. Sometimes during the plate meeting, someone will come out the next game and argue something from the previous game. Happened to Mark Parent was ejected. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think at the high school level, you're actually not allowed to come back the same day. Depending, of course, on how the association handles ejection. Oh, fastball just missed outside two and two. And now he's getting it from the other dugout. <laughs> Sean Barber looking over at Luis Rojas, who's screaming at him. Well, it's a hot day, man, and and the the tempers are going to be short, and we've seen it on a lot of fronts already today. I mean, we saw Alonzo and Machado go at it after Alonzo got hit. We've now seen the umpires take it from both dugouts. One hitting coach ejected. It's going to be a long day, guys. Just getting started. I haven't had a chance to talk to umpires. I would love to be a fly in the wall and talk to them and ask them because of the instant feedback if there's more bench jockeying and yelling than there's ever been. I don't know. Can't be more than the days of Billy Martin and others. 